Okay, well, today we have something different. Um, this is a meal board. And I'm showing it to you in paper format right now, unlaminated, but that is not how I would present it for a child because this is going to be much more durable. So covering it with lamination, and then I typically put it in a sleeve like this because I am going to then um, put on the pictures of the things we eat that day. So I am so lucky because I have such cooperative teachers. They are totally willing to figure out what the food is for the day and they're gonna put on those things. Um, I just put on some random things here for you. Um, they would stick those on with tape. And the reason we use tape instead of Velcro is because Velcro is super expensive it's hard to clean. My teachers are great about just pe keeping a piece of tape there. They switch it out for the next meal and I highly recommend not using Velcro for something like this um, unless your child is needing to access it on their own. But typically we set this up and there isn't a lot of picture um, exchanging during the meal time because their hands are full of other things and there is a lot of spilling because they're preschoolers, okay? So, um, actually, I guess I just gonna move this away and I will show you the, the um, laminated one. So let's pretend there's tape on here for corn, pasta, and meatloaf, and we'll put broccoli on there too. And I wanna to mention to you that how I have my teacher's um, options, they all have the veggies and um, proteins and all sorts of things, they're stored for the teachers in these pocket pages. They are essentially, um, um, what are they called? Um, baseball card holders. And then what I do to make it easier for the teacher to slide them in and out, unlike baseball cards, you don't want to slide them in and out as much. I cut a little half moon out of each of these um, and then label them protein, veggies, fruits, so they can quickly access them because we have so many foods that are options at the center that we don't want to um, be searching all over. We want this to be really efficient for teachers. So you'll notice that there is a red column and there's not anything in it except for the word friends right now. And then there's a green column and I have a couple specialty um, pictures in there that I've created. And there's the yellow. And there are little different yellows, but that's okay, um, not a big deal. Sometimes it's easier to find them if they're slightly different. You'll notice that the green I don't like and I like are two different greens because I really wanted them to stand out as different things and I wanted kids to get that right away. The red is where we put people. This goes with the certs program um, that we do with a lot of our children who have uh, social language problems and we want them to know that people do things. So people do things to other things. So, friends pass bowls. Friends eat corn. Friends poke broccoli, right? You'll notice that this is not all about requesting because many of my kids that I have um, are not big eaters. They don't sit around and ask for food, ask for food, ask for food, ask for food. But we can talk about other people doing things at the table. And luckily we're at a center where they pass things family style. I made that picture. So we pass in these bowls and we serve with spoons. And we can talk a lot about a lot of things with just these number of pictures. And there's always a lot of spilling. <laughs> there's always a need for wiping. There's a need for napkins. Um, we have milk here, so that's, you know, we're asking, we might say, let's say this is Anna's picture and this is Anna's board. So Anna doesn't like milk, but oh, look, her friends asked to please pass the milk. And I would be sitting next to Anna modeling this until she's starting to understand what these pictures are and starts being able to comment about what other people are doing and what she sees. So we have Opportunities to talk about passing, eating, poking, because not everybody is going to eat the food, but we want them to use their fork and poke it. Um, we have pouring. We, of course, pour at our center, and we let the kids pour out of containers, and I'm so pleased they do that here because it gives us so many opportunities to talk about spilling and wiping. <laughs> and then 
sometimes kids don't eat because it's just not their thing, but we can have them smell the food and we can tell them, we can talk about whether they liked what they smelled or they didn't like, excuse me, they like what they smelled or they didn't like what they smelled. This is a, you can't really see it, but it says no thank you. And I made it very dark. Um, but I didn't want it to be like yucky or something like that. Just no thanks because that matches up what we serve, what we, what we would say at our center, no thanks. But they still have to have it on their plate, so that's kind of neat. Again, these would be taped on there. Um, and then at the end, um, they can say they're done, but the really nice thing is a child might say that they're done, they wanna throw it away, but we can say, nope, you need to stay and let's talk about the other things you see. And that's kind of neat that they can say they wanna be done, but not, it, it, it not be the right time to do it. It's okay, you know, you can, you can request things and the answer can be no. And I can say, no, you can't do that, but you can smell it or you can, you can talk to your friends. Look at your friend, you can talk about what your friends are eating. Your friends are eating corn, they're eating corn or they're eating meatloaf or whatever it might be. So um, I send home for my kids who have lesser verbal abilities a picture of all the foods that we serve at the center. And I'm just gonna show it to you real quick because it's a, oh, it'll be like this. I send home to the parents like that. Um, all of our choices. There's three pages of them. And I just got them from the um, menu in the kitchen. And then this is my Spanish version. Um, so I can't really show it to you what I tell the parents they can do with it, but I will give you some examples. I tell them they can certainly take those pictures and they can um, cut them apart. They can put them on the refrigerator. They can find the favorite foods and put them so that um, a child can access them and put contact paper over them. And then the child can point to those. They can group them in fruits, vegetables, or um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, they can call me and ask if they want some things that are not uh, on here that are represented at home. And then I also do my best. I think that there's some, a couple errors on here, but there are Spanish vocabulary that we use for the kiddos who, I know that's a strawberry, but if I want to remember that it's a fresa um, in Spanish, I will put that word there so that it's helpful to me too, so that I can say both words and um, it carries over for home. So there you go. That is what we're doing with our meal boards at school.